Hey guys, well I'm going to do a little uh, review for you. It's only a one day review. Um, it's not any long term. I'll do a review after I've used this for a while, but I've only had it for a day. And it's a Thorfire LED floodlight. Power is 10 watts, work hour is 6 to 10 hours, 12 volt DC. And I'll show you the thing, but I want to show you first what it comes with. Well, I should actually grab it. And move the box out of the way. Because I have it out of the box, of course. Comes with the light. The stand and the screw. Right here. In case you're wondering. I'm not assembled, so you got to assemble them. Assemble them this way down. And even though it looks long, there is enough on there. So that's what it comes with. And of course I dropped this on the floor, so I had to bend over and pick it up. Yay me. Comes with the charging cable. There you go, just a regular style charging cable. Comes with one other thing. Let me get it out of the box here for you, because that's where I stuck it until I did the review anyway. Oh, you get the manual, which is fairly decently written. Probably all I get get out of the way, and then it comes with the car adapter. So you can actually plug this into your car, and if you need to, run it as an emergency does take quite a while to charge. I've only got up to three out of the four bars and I turn this over. Turn the light on here for you. You can see four LEDs. When it's fully charged, the fourth one will be lit. I'm going to go back and charge this after I'm done making the video and finish charging it. But this is where you attach the charging cable with a little rubber cap in there. And it also has on this side USB so you can use this because it's a lithium battery inside here to charge up your phone Now it does have Remember correctly three modes and this does rotate not broken it does have three modes and Here's a switch The problem with this is you got to turn it off and then turn it on so It's got a flashing SOS High beam, low beam, and there we go. There's no memory feature, so whatever you had it on last, it does not remember. You have to cycle through them all. It's fairly heavy. It does have this, how shall I put it here, foam over the metal. It's bright. It's like 500 lumens bright on high. So definitely lights up a lot. I mean, this is a great light to have in the trunk of your car, especially if you have to change a tire at night. Because it will light up quite a bit. Or if you notice that your cell phone had run out of juice and needed to charge it up, you could use this instead of your car. I mean, what else can I say, really? I mean, there's not a whole lot to talk about. It's got a nice function. I'll put a link to where you can get this in the... Uh, or for more information about this light uh, down below so look there and I'll give you a long term review of this and let's see how it works I actually plan to use mine instead of using my halogens uh, at least part of my halogens to film these videos and hopefully it'll work I mean, it's got a lot of nice features kinda like it thanks Yashin for sending it to me